Hey guys, how's it going? Rubik's Master here, and today on request we are going to be doing the Daily Raid level 40 for low levels. So I should have done this as soon as this came out, but I didn't. That's my bad. So <clears throat> I'm going to be doing this with the lowest level units I possibly can, and I haven't tried this because that would make the Daily Raid super expensive to try again, but I'm fairly confident that I can make this work. So we're going to be using... Um, you're going to be using Rhinos and PKs, not even PKIFVs, just PKs. Now, I may fail or I may almost fail, but you can use PKIFVs if you have them. Those would be much better to use. Or if you have Humvees, those are even better. Um, Abrams, maybe you could substitute some Abrams just to get a little bit more health. That may be a little smarter than using Rhinos. I'm just using Rhinos because I have their speed maxed out. Now, both my Rhinos and PKs are level 10. Like I said, my Rhino speed is maxed out, and I have some health boost on it. My PKs, their damage is maxed out, and I have some um, health boost on them as well. And of course, they're both level 10. So uh, my plan of attack is, of course, you can spawn in from either down here or up there. I am going to spawn in... Um, I don't know, it's kind of hard. If you spawn in down here... You can kind of pick apart the base a little bit, and you can rush up out of range of these howitzers um, to attack these instead of rushing into the machine gun turrets to attack the howitzers. However, I mean, we will be out of range of the howitzers as we attack these, but it does get a little bit difficult picking apart this base. Um, especially right there, you can see if you come in along these walls, you're going to be taking damage from that machine gun turret. So some of these torts are level 6, but if you look, you need to kind of learn to not be scared. When I first started looking at the little bit higher level bases to attack, I would get scared if I saw high level platforms. What you need to pay attention though is these howitzers are level 3, and the machine, gun the machine guns are level 5, except for that one that's level 6. Though if you look, except for the howitzers, which aren't that big a deal if you get in range, none of the torts that are boosted are on level 6 platforms, so even though they deal more damage, you will destroy them fairly quickly. So, our units are going to be bunched up a little bit, so the uh, turrets we really want to look out for are going to be, or not the turrets, but, well of course we're going to want to watch out for these howitzers, but we're going to want to watch out for both the S13 there and the S13 there. We may be able to get away without attracting the attention of that S13, but anyway, Let's jump into this. I just wanted to do a little bit more of an explanation because, you know, as a lower level, it helps to have some details rather than just watch somebody do something and hope you can replicate it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and destroy these walls. I'm just going to select all, and okay, so the barracks did deploy some troops. So we're going to pull back. So that to attack those ground troops. Oh, and an S-13. So we got an S-13 too. We're going to select one group of PKs to come forward and attack that. We're going to go ahead and select our tanks and have them take on... No, 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 S-13s. No, 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 no. Bad, bad S-13s. Bad S-13s. Wow, we just lost a lot of DPS. That is bad, 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 bad. That is awful. I cannot believe I did that. Oh my goodness. I, I don't think I can overstate. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and select all to attack that, but we're going to select our tanks to attack the PKs, because they deal more damage to PKs anyway. Alright, so what we're going to do now, we're going to select all, and we're going to pull back so we don't stray in range of that other machine gun tour, we kind of have to act quickly, we've already burned almost a minute and a half. Advantage we have though, alright there we go, so we're going to select these three PKs and have them detour to take out those infantry and then we're going to target that machine gun turret. As soon as that wall goes down we're going to be doing a lot more, oh no I didn't realize, no back up you morons, oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, so tanks, you take on that. PKs, you know what, no, 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 we, oh my goodness. I'm sorry guys, got a little bit disconcerted here because of all that. So what we're going to do is, 
We're going to come around back a little bit. We're going to take these tanks. We're going to target that as soon as they get out of... No. No. No, 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 no. Senor tanks, move this way. No, keep moving this way. There we go. Now we got everybody doing what we want them to. We got everybody doing what we need them to. Now these PKs are going to take a second to chew through this wall. But once they do, we are in business. There we go. Man, we got two minutes to do this, guys. We got two minutes to do this. Let's see if we can. We're just going to ditch that S13. This is where these... Rhinos are hopefully going to come in really handy, man. We got two minutes, guys. Two minutes. So, typically I wouldn't rush this, but we have no choice. I would typically dip the PKs in and out. It's only going to get off one shot. That's no big thing. We've lost one Rhino. We're going to attract the attention of that, and that's not okay, that's not okay. Okay, so we're going to come back, we're going to destroy these couple buildings here, and this defense tour, we are fighting against time now, guys. Alright, so now we move in. We want to get out of range of these howitzers as soon as possible. I don't think we got out of range of that one. There we go. We're out of range. So we're just going to hope another rhino doesn't die and that these guys good. They targeted the machine gun turret. So now we're free and clear. We're just fighting against time. We have 54, 50 seconds to get this done, but we're going to get it done. Okay, so while that's going on, let's recap my errors. So down here, I wasn't paying attention to the... Um, at this first machine gun turret, I wasn't paying attention to how close my PKs got, and I lost three PKs right off the bat. You don't want to do that. Micromanage a little bit better than I did, and that would be an easy mistake to remedy. And if you remedy that, I mean, time management as well. I took a lot of damage approaching the howitzers and taking out that railgun just because I ran out of time. If you do better time management and don't run as many risks, you will be able to take out that railgun just using your PKs, dipping in and out, not taking any damage at all, and it just frees you up, like you just take way less damage. But even as it is with these low level units, let's see how much repair we're actually going to need. Let us see, let us see. You know, part of this is talking, too. When you talk and you try to do things like this, you just make stupid mistakes, and it costs you damage. The tiniest little mistake can cost you a lot. Okay, 2,000 damage, so yeah, I mean, I could easily, if I was focusing really hard, I could easily cut that in half. Like I said, not taking damage from the railgun, not taking damage to my PKs from the machine gun turret. You could easily cut that down to under 1,000 oil, for that entire attack, well, plus the 3800 that you have to pay just to do the attack for some reason, that we will never know. But anyway, I hope this was helpful to you guys. And again, that is just with PKs. You should at least have PK IFVs or Humvees. Humvees are even more powerful than PK IFVs per level. So if you have Humvees, Humvees also have a lot more health. And when you have a unit with more health, it's more forgiving if you would have made a mistake. If I, would, if I had Humvees instead of PKs and I would have accidentally got, gotten in range of that machine gun turret, I would have only lost, you know, maybe one Humvee. Maybe I wouldn't have lost any Humvees. But because I was using weak PKs, one simple mistake of getting in range of a machine gun turret made me lose three PKs. I lost a quarter of my DPS because of one stupid mistake early on. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this, and until next time, Y'all have an awesome day.